nagigito kami. Oh, okay lahat. Medyo pinapakasang seryoso ng usapan na liyari. Pero may dalawang questions lang ako. Um, yung about maliyari, may ingat kayo sa script, may ingat kayo. Though, true story, based naman kayo sa true story, may ingat kayo na hindi mag-react, of course, ang simbahan, uh, kasi pari siya na pumapatay. Um, pa paano ninyo na inatake yung of course, ang story na? Yeah, uh, first of all, it's fiction. Uh, it's just based on this documented, the life of this documented serial killer, but everything is fictionalized. So that's our way out. You know, it's, it's not a true story. So we had a take on the story of Sabrina Balian. Ah, okay. Yeah, in the uh, horror genre. Oh, lalo na pag-fiction, so yun na, mas maingat ka. Oh, well, definitely, yes. of course. Ayaw mo rin naman maging smorgasbord. But of course, you wanna present a film na maiintindihan ng tao yung kwento na pinag-uusapan ng pitipula. Kanina, pinag-usama yun ni Nicole, kasi ang dami-dami na ginawa mo. Correct mo lang, kasi yung interpretation ko mga at least siguro two or three years ago na um, siguro na rin ang pandemic, may mga past interviews ka na sila, pero medyo mahingat ka na sa pagtanggap ng mga projects, may sinabi ka pa yata, correct me if I'm wrong, na parang ayaw mo na mag-soap, parang medyo magbabawas. Oo, oh, magbabawas ka na mga work. Pero this yes. time, unong-uno. So, but biglang nagbago. Bago na nung nagbalik ang bago. Oo, kasi biglang nagbago yung decision mo at papano. Tandang-tanda namin. Bago na poor ka na ba? Sa dahil wala kang ginawa. Totoo, totoo po kasi yan eh. Kausap ko yung direct, si Direct Barry News na ano. Sabi ko to, sabi niya to, pipili mo lang ako para sa iyo. Sabi ko, wala akong schedule next. 2025 na to. Sabi niya, nangyari, di ba sabi mo, kung gusto mo maging farmer na lang, gusto mo mga kapansok. Sabi ko, oo, hindi ko rin alam kung ano nangyari. Kasi uh, nagsunod-sunod, and parang it's hard to pass up on these projects na alam mo mga monument at alam mo na pag hindi mo ginawa, may pa namang gagawa, obviously. Pero ito malayari, sinabi ni Derek, kung di ko tinanggap, sabi niya, sayang, masyashelve yung project. It's hard to find an actor, apparently, to do something as complicated as this. But yeah, uh, I just want to be able to challenge myself every time I do something, you know, with all the endorsements that I get to, uh, have, but um, it's it's a one way it's one way of giving back to stay relevant and also still be in the game. That's why when uh, ABS pitched to me a soap, uh, when I said I'm not doing soaps anymore, I did Flower of Evil, which was a series, it was a uh, weekly thing. Nung sinabi ko ngayon today, sabi ko ganda ng ganda ng concept eh. Sabi ko ilang episodes yan, sabi niya 100. So nagbili ako sa kamay. Sige, sige, gawin natin. <laughs> Maganda naman. Maganda naman kasi. So sabi ko, at saka na yung bakasyon. And you know, uh, who are you to say no to blessings? You know, if you're a vessel, if you're able to be a conduit of uh, God's blessings, why not? And you get to take on beautiful characters, you know, you get to represent your generation. You're the face of a character that you can say, you know, would leave a mark in, in this industry. Why not? So, paano na yung mga personal mo, of course? Ah, uh, dyan lang sila. Nagbina talaga po eh. May mga bagay na hindi para sa atin. Ha? Are we willing to wait for you? Darating, darating tayo dyan. Uh, for now, really, I'm uh, at, at 46. I'm turning 47 in a couple of months, in a couple of weeks. And I don't see any sign of slowing down. You know, I'm excited with what uh, Cornerstone as in store for us this coming year. So, so we're not stuck with just doing TV, soaps, films, concerts, events, anything that has to do with content. Because there is a demand for it, there's a vacuum for it. So we want to take advantage of that. That's why we hire more creative people and in turn, we get, to get, we, we get to become more challenged and to really raise the bar so that we can't do it again. We have Hi, Papa Pia. Papa Pia, as a dami ng ginawa ko dito, check on ang portray ng kaya. Pero kapag mga hindi nyo ina-aspire or gusto nyo? This, this is really intriguing actually. If there's one person I want to do a biopic on, it's just one person. All my life I wanted to do the story of Marcos. Ah, uh, okay. Marcos. Because I grew up not in the martial arts, born in 77, but I was already alive in the revolution, you know, and then I gave my thought 
Salvatore and my mom was working for the government for almost 20 years. So I grew up doing Marcus time. So, yun lang. Nagawa ko yun yung noise in MMK. It really, I find that person interesting. So, kung may possibility? Yeah, siguro at 50, you know, in 3 years, kung medyo may edad na ako. Kasi ba, 30 pa lang kasi ako ngayon. Of course. Papapili. Thank you, I want to be able to do more films uh, as, a, as a producer. As a producer, not producer. just an actor. I uh, really want to push the envelope and I just really want to champion uh, Philippine content, the docu, series, or whatever. You know, you want to be an advocate of the advancement of Philippine cinema. And as a personal Siguro uh, desire is to, uh, yeah. The real estate is here only, so we put up some hotels here and there. So you know, I have like friends, you know, that are helping me to do hotel business. So you on the side. Thank you.